Hello, star seeds, light workers, and humans. Thank you for listening in on another transmission. This is about a seriousness of your mission as a worker for the light. Now, clearly, there are a heavy number of responsibilities for those of you that are carrying over into the new earth. Now, these responsibilities include making sure to spread awareness about ascension, and making sure to anchor in more peacefulness yourself, detach more from the ego 3D mind, and to live more in your intuitive knowing space inside. Now, I've worked very, very hard, very hard, over many, many years on this planet, all for ascension. Now, I know that I, at most that listen on this channel are mainly from the age in the 40s, 50s, 60s, to 70s. And the reason for that is, is that I'm a very old soul, as many of you are clearly aware of. So, in truth, I've actually been on this planet for many, many thousands of years. Now, this is why I'm so serious. This is why I continue to make videos, daily videos for you. Because I'm aware of the serious nature of ascension. I'm aware of the billions of souls physically dying that are choosing duality still. I'm aware of that. So it's an emergency for me to be here. For our collective of, of light beings to be here. We're aware of the decisions that each soul is making. Now, being that every soul is eternal, every soul that's ever came here is going to come back. Now, being that the vibrations are, are ascending on this planet to full consciousness, only those souls that are, that are coming back to this planet, Earth, are being a part of the new Earth. Those souls that are already from the ascended realms. Those souls that have already ascended in the physical form. Those souls that haven't ascended, meaning those souls that have had, say, damaging lives, um, you know, have killed a bunch of, of souls, um, have gone through a lot of chaos and have not reached peacefulness inside of themselves. Um, mainly these are the souls that are going to uh, be given opportunities to reincarnate on more planets of duality, more planets of lower density. On lower density, you're limited to mainly your the five senses, um, ego thinking, everything separate. So you're going to incarnate for those souls having going to have this experience. You're going to incarnate on more planets in which you're going to be taught a name. You're going to start out as a baby. Um, it's going to be hell. There's no doubt about it. If you feel it's just, if it's, it's not going to be hell, then you clearly have not experienced hell on this earth before. Now, in hell, you have uh, the divided natures. Everyone doesn't know each other, one another. Very few souls say, oh, you're my family, you're my friends, and, and, and everyone else is a stranger. That's how it works on lower density planes. Now, being that I am here as a multiple beings of light, in our collective of light, we are here to show you the way. Now, when I walk around in, as most humans, I'm aware of, of who, who all humans are on this planet. I'm aware of who all star seeds, who all light workers are. So it is a very strange experience to greet mainly most souls on this planet because most souls treat who I am to be some type of stranger and are clearly unaware of who I am. So it's similar to you knowing who someone is and they don't even know who you are because they don't know who they are in truth. Now, this is clearly for only those that are awakened to your true self. Now, I'm aware of you know, most humans that are unawakened to source, that are still lost in the cycle of reincarnation, will often label these messages as confusing, um, as general, as, you know, not being able to connect, um, or even label our transmissions as, you know, having some type of scary voice. Now, that's all based off of ego. Now, those souls that say that, that focus on judgments, what they're really doing is they're just focusing on lowering their own vibration because when you're unaware of oneness, then you tend to treat another disrespectfully. 
as you treat yourself disrespectfully. So this is how it works. As you ascend beyond full consciousness, you're actually entering deeper into unity consciousness. Making no mistake about it, unity is the goal here. Unity is a choice, however. Not everyone is choosing unity on this planet. And you notice that there's, there's still killings going on every day of, of, of children, women, and men every single day. And it's not stopping. It's only going to stop in the shift of full consciousness that you're, you're seeing right now. Now, what's happening is most humans are unaware that there's going to be a large removal of souls that are, that are choosing duality still from this planet. So it's not, there's no way of a punishment or anything saying, oh, you know, I, you know, I deserve to have respect for choosing separated natures, um, for choosing the ego. I deserve to continue my life just as everyone else. And that's true. Only the reality of that is that on this planet, as the actual physical life forms are evolving that are choosing the, the new earth, in this lifetime, are actually preparing for it and have been preparing for it for years. Now, those souls that are not choosing it, they're going to be given the opportunity to go on. It's not as if they're going to end. You know, physical death is certainly not the end of life. It's just a continuation for such souls that are choosing to keep on evolving. Now, um, there's questions often that we get asked as a collective of, how these souls are going to pretty much be able to go on, um, how they're going to incarnate on to reincarnate on more planets, and is it going to, um, you're going to incarnate together? Only togetherness is now. To feel as if you're going to go on duality and then go into some blissful realm, in some harmonious realm, that's a, that's a lie, that's a deception. The only that's similar to saying that the earth right now is some blissful realm and that there's no killings, there's no murders, there's no environmental crisis, there's no uh, political corruption, there's no greed. Um, that's actually, you're living in the hell plane right now, on the earth right now. This is the end of the hell on the earth. Now, that's why it's a special opportunity. You're coming out of this long reign of, of darkness, of terror, of fear. Uh, that was created by the descendants of the Anunnaki, and you're entering into this blissful realm. Now, clearly only those that are preparing for this are going to make this leap. Those that are not are obviously going to go on to more planets, and this is how it works. Um, this is just a serious transmission for you to show you that um, we as a collective are serious. You know, We work very hard every single day for you to help you in your ascension process. I mean, we didn't have to come here. We chose to come here. I mean, you notice I'm, we're still able to be calm in this one form right now. And those of you that are aware that you can actually see multiple beings in this one form right now, you're able to see glimpses of that. You're able to see my multidimensional self and who we are as one light team. So thank you for listening in always, and peace, harmony, and oneness forever.